É onde? Vem aqui. É onde um homem precisa levar você para o primeiro encontro? Ah, eu não sei. Lá no Pelourinho, para beber cachaça também. Restaurante ou bar? Oi? Restaurante, bar, praia, ah. bar? Praia, mas eu não sei. Então, aqui So here we go. Julia. Julia. So look. One second. Let's focus right here for one second. One second. Are you using my face? No. No, no. No. He's jealous. Mm, he's, he's jealous. He's, he's, yeah, he's jealous. I don't need. You gotta win money. I want to sell money too. Yeah. No, no. I'm not selling it. He's jealous. He, he's jealous. He's, yeah, he is. Yeah. So tell me. You see how I stopped you to talk to you first, and then he came over here trying to promote his Instagram to you. I don't really. I don't know him. But anyways. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so when you go out with a guy, where is the where is your preferred first date? Like, where do you prefer to go? Uh, I don't have really a preference. I just want to be with the guy. I don't care where we are. Just so it's not about a money. It's about about himself and what he likes to do and what I like to do. There's not a specific place that I want to go. Like, I want to go. Good, good. Thank you. What up, guys? So as you can see, so far we're doing the interviews on the street, right? Uh, a lot of these women are very, very low maintenance. They want to go to the beach. And we know going to the beach, you're going to spend four to six dollars, maybe ten, if both of y'all drinking. You know what I'm saying? So, first dates, they want to go to the beach, and some of them want to go to a restaurant. But again, we know for two people at a restaurant, you're probably going to spend around 20 bucks. Meanwhile, while y'all going on two, three, four, five hundred dollar dates in the States, you know what I'm saying? So the video is not over. We're gonna still bring y'all more and more and more and more and more. So hit the like button, man. We out here in these streets getting this content. Hit the like button. Oh, yeah. I think I'm probably going to buy what's it? Is it? When onji 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 um homem precisa levar você para o primeiro encontro. Explica. Eu quero, eu quero ouvir. Explica. Dez, dez segundos. Um palavra. Bar, restaurante, praia. Viajar para outras países. Restaurante. Onde, onde é um homem para se levar vocês da primeira encontro? Depende. Depende o quê? Da pessoa, do encontro. Uma pessoa você gosta? Ah, um jantar. Bar, praia, é. restaurante, uh -huh. oh. restaurante, bar, restaurante. E você? Oi, tudo bem? Tudo bem. Okay. Explica pra ela. Quando uma pessoa que você gosta quer te levar pra sair, onde você gosta de ir? Bar, restaurante? Depende do lugar, é. né? da cidade que a gente tá. Se estiver aqui, gosta na praia, né? Praia. Praia. E você, amiga? É bem parecido com as meninas. Ah. Exatamente. Praia, restaurante, bar. É muito é fácil. Vai depender muito do lugar que a gente estiver, né? Se a gente estiver numa cidade que não Sei tem você praia. você gosta de mim. Eu sei. Ah, e você quer onde? Uh, vai onde? Onde? Acho que o, o, o primeiro rolê é um barzinho. Bar. Um drinkzinho. Né? Assim. Não vai, menino? Tá. Obrigado. Oi. Eu tenho uma pergunta para você. Pode? Sim. Para mim, eu, eu, eu documento minha vida. Mas eu quero perguntar, um brasileiro não pergunta. Sim. Um homem precisa levar uh, você primeiro ao encontro onde? Restaurante, praia? Onde? Depende. Depende do quê? Ah, depende do momento, assim. Geralmente, restaurante mesmo. Restaurante? Sim. Tá bom. Obrigado. Nada. <risos> ah, um homem precisa levar você para o primeiro encontro onde? Agora você tem que entrar. Restaurante, praia. Restaurante, praia, bar. Onde? Onde? Onde você gosta mais? Para o primeiro ah, encontro. Restaurante, né? Restaurante? É. Why do y'all be asking, do y'all have single moms in Brazil? Here you go, single moms, right there. Single moms. So let me tell you about what this hating ass dude did today. So y'all saw the clip 
with the uh, American, oh, and the American girl. <laughs> she spoke English, so that's why I said American girl. Uh, the, the, the black Brazilian girl with the short ball cut, right? So I was talking to her at first. I let her know, stop, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I wanna ask you a video. She started speaking English. Uh, but when I grabbed her hand, the other Brazilian dude tried to give his number to her on some real dry, slick, hating shit. And then he gonna speak in Portuguese as if I don't understand the shit, telling her I'm trying to use her image for uh, money and shit. Like, bro, what the fuck you talking about? And, uh, and then he walked off, but he was trying to give his WhatsApp number to her, trying to give his Instagram and shit to her. And I explained that he always be on some hating shit. We, we got a chick over here looking right now. She waving and shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, I will say that Brazilian dudes here in Austin, can probably agree to this as well. That Brazilian dudes here envy American men, bro. When they see or hear men speaking English here, they literally cuff their chick, or they be on some hating ass shit, or like homeboy did when you was talking to her, they'll try to do some sabotage shit, like oh say this or ask her this to see what she say. Cause it was a, it was a situation where he was talking to a girl, right, and the dude was like ask her if uh if if uh you her and her friend can all three kiss together and then as soon as he asked her that shit because he said that she said that and then he confirmed it with her he made it seem like yeah he made he it seem her, like, like yeah yeah so i was like oh okay let me ask her this so then he asked the girl that he was talking to like yo let's all three kiss and bro the whole energy shifted she was pissed off her friend was pissed off still so they her. still hit but the point is they be on that dry or dry ass weird hating ass shit uh when it comes to american men not all of them but a lot of times they do that shit uh, and like dude made a comment earlier uh they like you they like you it's easy for you it's easy for you that's not my problem bro the reality is our realities are not the same when it comes down to it our realities are not the same our problems ain't the same our status not the same none of that shit's the same so your struggle is not my struggle at the end of the day, your struggle is not my struggle. What you what you can't do, what I can't do is not. It, it, let that shit go. <laughs> you got you got Brazilian men who will literally get mad and and be on some jealousy shit because you have women with you. I told you guys before when I was at this club and I had like seven girls in the VIP section with me, and dude tried to start a fight because they was all beautiful, but they look at it like. Uh, on some, on some jealous shit, envy. Cause they can't do it, or it's easier for us. I'm with the game, man. We're having a good night tonight. We're about to go to this little festival. I do. Oh, she from, uh, where are you from? I'm from here. I'm local. Huh? I'm local, I'm from here. You're local. Yeah, where are you from? We're from the United States. Where? But we live here, huh? But where are you doing? Texas. Texas. Texas? Texas. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Have you fun. too. You too. You guys older. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Jimmy's with you, you too right now. Yeah, I'm filming. <laughs> I got my Brazilian homie. Show me, show me. You know what I'm saying? Got the bus down on tonight, baby. You're good. <laughs> tonight is good. So we're about to hit this party. Tell them, tell them about that party we're about to go to. What's the yeah, festival? What's the name? Alan. No, what's the name of the party? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So we got Austin, we got the boys pulled up. Introduce yourself, man. This the this the this the these are the celebrities, you know what I'm saying? We got we got we got Drake one and Drake two in this motherfucker. <laughs> hey, it's Eric Urizzi on Instagram, Candy Worldwide on TikTok. Y'all go ahead and check us out. Yeah, yeah these boys big, these boys, boys big man. time. You got like what down there, 100 k you got 200 k Introduce yourself, bro. Hey man, Luis. I'm Luis. a photographer, videographer, Kevin Worldwide. There we go, man. Yes, sir. We've been having a good time tonight, man. So y'all got in Salvador a win. When y'all when y'all pull up? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. And how y'all how y'all liking it so far? How about you? It's been great, man. It's like wow, what a vibe out here for real. Y'all boys definitely gotta check it out. So yeah, yeah so I'll I'm, be honest, good food, good beaches. I didn't think that the nightlife was gonna be good until I hit my man up. Yeah, man. Beyond, so I got right. Yes, sir. So, yeah, we're going to have a good time tonight, man. We're going to go to this festival and check it out. So Steph Curry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Steph Curry. <laughs> this 
listening and took the shirt off. He trying to shut shit down. <laughs> he out here wilding. We in this mug, dog. We in here.